it's exciting uh, to be here. As I was um, telling Hugh uh, earlier, uh, it's exciting for me, and I know for um, all the City of Columbia uh, family, meaning those of us part of the government and the municipal corporation, as well as the people that we represent and advocate for every single day uh, to be here uh, because uh, people are emotionally bound to this facility. There's, there's, there's no place uh, in, in this city, indeed in this country, uh, like the Bull Street campus. Uh, what it means to the, um, to the past and the future of historic preservation, uh, this beautiful sylvan canopy, the, the, the high-tech lines that run underneath here because of the investment of the men and women um, standing behind me, uh, well beyond professional sports returning to Columbia and, and now people beginning to take a residence in the new Bull Street campus, people are emotionally bound to this very special place that just 30 years ago uh, saw its last patients leave what was then known as the originally known as the South Carolina Lunatic Asylum, um, this property lay fallow uh, for, for decades, uh, looking for um, uh, a vision that uh, I would submit uh, was developed over several years under several administrations, under several uh, leaders of this city, and as Providence would have it at the right time, uh, collective vision uh, presented itself uh, to us. Uh, I couldn't be more excited to be here. We were heartbroken. Uh, last September when flames engulfed the Babcock uh, building, uh, we, we watched in horror as a couple of collapsed into the, the, the building and some of us um, wondered. I know that people across uh, the community wondered, those of us who drove into here either from the west or, or, or from the, the northeast every single day and we saw this uh, beautiful building. Visitors often wondered if it were our, was our capital building uh, because of how stately it indeed was. Uh, many begin to wonder if this um, viable 21st century vision that we had for this campus was in doubt and I think it's quite clear uh, that it has never been in doubt because of our partners um, specifically here because of our partners, Clacken Properties. Um, they never wavered in their commitment um, to making this project happen. Hugh and I shared a laugh over one phone call we had last year. That was, we were perfectly fine. We were cool. We were cool, but we weren't cool, cool with some other folks who were slowing the project down. And as a result, um, we got some real steam uh, behind this, uh, working with amazing professionals at the city and the county. Uh, and uh, this team and huge development as well, uh, we are now uh, at a point where um, the vision is becoming a reality. Clacken, as you know, specializes in the renovation and, and management of historic properties, uh, preserving history and uh, creating a one-of-a-kind one of kind communities um, is at the heart of every project uh, that they take on. And so now the Babcock Building, Columbia's Babcock Building, and its couple are slated to be replaced next year can live on not just as a symbol of the Bull Street development, but as a symbol of the resilience of a great city. As of now, we're six months into a 30-month construction schedule. Uh, today's visit is an early sneak peek at the progress so far. Uh, we could see how Clacken will transform this rambling 254,000 square foot, a quarter of a million square feet uh, structure into 208, one, two, and three bedroom apartments when completed uh, the, uh, the complex is going to include a pool a dog park a grilling garden lounging uh, an exercise facility it's going to be a gem a gem of bull street and a gem for the city of columbia the first of five phases is expected to be completed and ready for, for occupancy occupancy early 2022 uh, the entire project will be completed in, in three years and yes uh, you heard me correctly, uh, thrilled to announce the first units will be available for occupancy in early uh, 2022, just next year. Uh, every few months uh, thereafter, more units will come online with every phase of vibrancy of the site um, and the vitality of the campus will come even more to life. Uh, 
it's not that far in the future. Uh, the, pr the future is now here. And I know everyone's uh, really, really excited to, to tour the site, so I won't um, belabor this point. It's my pleasure uh, to introduce the chair of the Bull Street Commission, uh, my friend, uh, Councilman Howard Duvall. Thank you, Mayor Benjamin. On behalf of the commission, I want to express our collective excitement about the restoration of the Babcock Building and the excitement we feel to have a team like the Clacken Group heading up this restoration. From the first time I met them, I could see that they had a, a passion for this project. It's different than their usual type of project of restoring old mills. This is a building that was built to take care of mental health facilities in South Carolina. Uh, one point of history, this is the second building on the uh, Bull Street campus uh, for mental health. The first building is behind us, the Robert Mills Building, which was built in 1821. That means that we are celebrating the bicentennial year of mental health as a state responsibility in South Carolina. We were the second state in the United States to accept mental health services as being a state responsibility. This building, the Babcock Building, was built in 12 stages, and each one of them will be filled soon, within two years, with 208 families that will bring life and vitality to this project. We have all, always said that the restoration of the Babcock Building was the linchpin for the successful completion of the restoration of Bull Street property. Uh, we are delighted that this is this far along. Uh, as the mayor said, there were some ups and downs in the uh, progress getting it this far, but now that we're under construction, I can't wait to see uh, the tour this afternoon, this morning, to find out what they've done already and can't wait for the finished product to bring the 208 families to Bull Street. Thank you. And obviously we're honored to also be uh, joined here today by Councilwoman Tamika Isaac Devine and Councilman Will Brennan. Did you guys want to say something? No, Will, you good? Okay. And uh, obviously in, in, their, in their absence, I know that uh, Councilman McDowell, Councilman Rickman, and Councilman Davis, uh, this has also um, been a very important uh, project for each of them. And also I think it would be remiss not to mention um, everyone from Councilman, uh, Councilwoman uh, Gurgle, <laughs> um, uh, Councilman um, uh, Badura, uh, uh, Mayor Coble, uh, uh, and even uh, Councilman uh, Cromartie and, and, and Newman, um, and even a late Councilwoman Plow. Uh, you know, when you have complex uh, projects like this, uh, there's always going to be some really, uh, I think, legitimate back and forth, uh, significant investment um, uh, 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 that manifests itself in a collective vision, uh, some give and take, uh, but also uh, you show the stick to itiveness to make it happen. And what we're seeing here today as it relates to the policymakers, as I believe the, uh, um, the, the consensus of, of, of the fact that Columbia is going to take big steps forward. Um, so, so excited uh, um, and wanted to make sure we recognize our, our colleagues, those who, who, uh, who preceded us and those who have gone on to glory uh, as, as well. Uh, the, um, it's my pleasure to introduce the founder and president of Clacken Properties, uh, the man who's, who's going to make it all happen. Uh, so, uh, Hugh Shadow, all yours, brother. Sure. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. Um, I'm not the guy that's going to make this happen. There are hundreds of people that are going to make this uh, happen, and um, uh, so what I want to just do two things today. Uh, one is frame what you're going to see. Uh, as the mayor mentioned, we're six months into a 30-month construction cycle, so parts of the building are farther along than other parts. Parts you're going to see, and you're going to be able to look at it and say, I could see how that could be an apartment really soon. Other parts, you'll scratch your head wondering how we're ever going to make it an apartment. Um, but we're going to try to show you both sides of what Babcock is today at this relatively early stage. The other thing I wanted to do is uh, acknowledge that there are hundreds of people working on this, and I could go on and on and on talking about the impact that our architect has had uh, or the impact that the State Historic Preservation Officer has had or the role that the fire chief had in saving the building. And I could go on and on and on, but in the interest of brevity, I just wanted to tell one story uh, about how the community came together to make this happen. So uh, this is a HUD loan. 
And HUD is very mission focused on making sure that they uh, enable and facilitate projects that the community really wants and needs. And so we went around uh, talking to political leaders about uh, getting their support, asking them to write letters on our behalf, uh, council members, the mayor, the governor, senators, everyone was supportive. But when I go back and I read the mayor's letter, it is very heartfelt, very poignant about the role that this building plays in this community and why he felt and others feel that it's important to be done. And I think that letter was a major turning point in our ability to get a HUD loan. So I wanted to recognize that and, and thank you for that help. So Ryan Tobin is gonna be uh, leading us on the tour. Uh, Walter Parks, our, our architect, did you wanna say something, uh, Mr. Parks? Uh, we'll, be doing, we'll be doing a bunch of talking. Of course, we have uh, Katie Coleman, our project manager, as well um, uh, with us. And I, and of course, whenever you get into the uh, um, into the habit of naming names, I did not mention uh, Councilwoman Ann Sinclair, who I, I think actually also worked on this site as well. Uh, and I think what may have been the first person to, to raise, at least to my awareness, the importance of daylight and Smith's Branch uh, and, and, and what that could mean for this uh, property as well. So we want to thank Councilwoman Sinclair. Uh, as as well, so um, I think uh, we're gonna pass it off to Ryan. Let's let's uh, let's 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 begin this tour.